Hello, I'm Fari Borspuy and this is WPI um, Press Center. We have daily briefing about the news coming out of Iran and, the, and try to analyze that with Hamid Tawai, leader of WPI. Hamid Tawai, welcome to today's uh, program, which is uh, Sunday, 21st of June 2009. Um, yesterday there were clashes on the streets of Tehran and many other cities. The air was filled with tear gas and bullets and sirens and everybody knows that there were a lot of clash on, on the streets, different parts of Tehran, people were trying to go to central sort of Tehran and the face with the security force of the Islamic Republic, the snipers were shooting people and the news is that more than 30 people were shot dead and over 300 people uh, were re injured. Um, injured and many people were arrested, security forces were uh, even going to hospitals and trying to actually pick up all the wounded, uh, people were asking yeah, from even foreign embassies to open the doors for people to wander together to be treated. With that background of fight, which is continuing today, the news coming out of um, Iran today is that that clash on the streets is still continuing today. Later on this afternoon, that's happened, and uh, we'll be publishing that on the WPI uh, blog, which is going on, which has become a center of uh, news. And at the same time, TV International, uh, TV New Channel TV is uh, live uh, producing programs and people are coming on uh, TV, giving the news and trying to organize somehow through the TV. We, with that background, we have, although not many people talk about elections anymore, people mm -hmm. have moved on and the, uh, the slogans are death to dictator, death to harmony, and you know, putting out demands. Within that background, suddenly you have one of the uh, candidates, Musavi. Musavi, he's actually declared that he wants to actually um, ask people to work within the law and go back inside to the system. inside the system and uh, and try to sort of pursue the demands a little bit. What's your analysis of his move with this background that I, I actually defined for you? Actually, I think Mr. Musavi has got a problem now. On the one hand, he he wants, and you can say he, he has to rely on the street, on people. I mean, his political and even physical survival depends on it. And on the other hand, he, he has to control them at the same time because already people are much further uh, than, uh, than, than the slogans that they had one week ago even. Yes. At the beginning, the issue was the election. Now the issue is the whole system. The issue is the supreme leader. Yes. Threat to the supreme leader is on the streets. And of course, Mr. Musavi thinks that it's too much. Yes. Thinks that he cannot control it. So he had that declaration right after the, the some sort of uprising that we had in, in Tehran uh, yesterday. Right after that, he had the he had the declaration, and by saying that uh, people, uh, we are uh, you want a system like what Khomeini had 20 years ago. We want to go back there. Your values are Islamic. We are Muslims. We are inside the system. We respect the system, and everybody who doesn't is not with us. That sort of thing, and at the same time saying that it is still against the election, against the uh, Ahmadinejad being the president and the winner is the loser, loser is the winner, that sort of thing. He wants to keep the issue in, in the frame of election, and uh, secondly, he wants to keep the whole thing inside the Islamic Republic of Iran. As his uh, rivals say, he wants some sort of a uh, welfare revolution in the world. He wants some changes, but as far as the system is safe and sound and is there. He just wants to be the president. Uh, not it's not a, no it's not a uh, it's not a fight just for the for the seat it's it's a, it's a fight for actually different policies it's right. for real he's presenting a policy much different than what Mus uh, uh, Ahmadinejad uh -huh. wants or or, 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 or Khamenei wants but the th the thing is that has nothing to do with what people have it has nothing to do with the protests that we are witnessing in the street right. People want much, much more than some demands in modifying something or re reforming something. People, as they say in their slogans very clearly, uh, they say even, we don't want Islamic Republic. Yes. One of the slogans, the other slogan is threat to dictator. The other slogan is threat to Khamenei. Obviously, it means uh, we don't want this. Uh, and this it's system. very interesting. He never, he, he actually, um, all these groupings, that they do not talk about uh, um, freedom of political prisoners, that's Nothing. one of the demands on the streets. Yeah. People are asking that uh, Khamenei has to go, he doesn't talk about that. No. Um, and people are asking for actually freedom of expression, the right to demonstrate, he doesn't talk about those. No, actually, as long as he becomes a freedom of Yeah, in this sense, his, the, even they're claiming that they are reformists, but 
is much like Mr. Khatami, that he was president for, for eight years yes. before, before Ahmadinejad. And the same, the same situation was there. Everybody is, uh, expects him to do something when people elected him, some sort of changes, but nothing actually happened. Mm. Nothing happened because he said that um, I'm loyal to the system. As, uh, and as soon as he wanted to do something, as soon as the supreme leader would say, okay, no, it's too much, it's, it, you shouldn't, you wouldn't, uh, he would obey um, that. Yeah. The, the same situation now. So people don't see any kind of reform in what he says and what he represents. But, but the difference is that at that time, people were not on the street. Now people no, are on people the street, are. people have come this, as the third the, factor. The thing that important. happened, uh, on that time people voted for Kadami because they wanted him to be a president, not because they liked him, or his policies, nobody knew what the, his policy was. And even at the end of his term, still nobody knew what his policy yeah. was. But the, at that time, it was some sort of uh, challenging the uh, uh, supreme leader. The same thing that happens. But the difference was, at that time, people wanted to do that through the election and voting. This time, they are doing it through street. Because that uh, venue is, even, even, uh, is, is no longer available for people. Yeah. People went there, they voted, and, and somebody else came out. And that's where we have and our power. Now we have the streets. Yes. And when you are on the streets, of course the issue is not no longer the, the, the election. The issue is freedom, the issue is uh, that the dictator and that sort of thing. And that's a radical movement that... It's a radical movement that Mr. Musavi cannot control. control it. He knows already that. Okay. Um, one other um, uh, important issue I think is developed in the last 24 hours is death of a young girl in the uh, uh, in Tehran, yeah. Neda um, Sultani, who was shot shot dead by the Basijia snipers, yeah. um, in front of um, her dad and and brother, and and that's been broadcast everywhere on YouTube, and all the news agencies mm. actually published that, which is people associate her death with all of the atrocities that the Islamic regime has committed in the yeah. last the last few days. Right. Uh, they hold Khamenei responsible for her death, and that's become an icon of. Um, of a struggle uh, um, uh, today, um, people seeing that they are frustrated, they're angry everywhere, uh, all over the world, and they want to do something about it. They're watching the events that is going on in Iran. What is your sort of response to that sort of emotions? What do you expect people to do, and what's your suggestion? First of all, of course, what do you expect from uh, people of the world and from those uh, 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 parties or institutions or even government? to support people of Iran, this, they, to support their slogan. It is very different than supporting Musavi. Yes. It's a big difference yes. between those two. Supporting Musavi doesn't mean anything for people. Supporting Musavi means something, something of political you're doing. You, if you go for some change uh, in, in, inside the system, uh, people uh, don't, don't see as a, as a supporting them or as a movement uh, that helps them. It's not actually help. Uh, the th only thing that can help is just directly ad uh, addressing the protests that we have in the street yeah. and support them. Condemn the whole mm. Islamic Republic what does that mean for what practice? happens. First means condemning the, the, the regime. Right. Want the regime be uh, uh, not be recognized by any government, okay. by like UN or the other sort of uh, international close, institutes. Close an Islamic embassies. Uh, in, uh, you close Islamic embassies everywhere. Yes. So this. Uh, uh, regime obviously is not legitimate anymore. Even not, okay. I, I mean, uh, even uh, only if you just look at the last uh, election that we have, yes. only if, if only for that reason, yes. it's not a legitimate system Spe anymore. Specifically, anymore. next few days, on 26th of June, uh, many labor organizations had they called for they yeah. called for a day of protest and yes, support of the yes. workers. That's a Iran. good situation, actually. And that's I, th I think that yeah. needs to be also yeah. when they called for it, but before those events. Sure. Now there's even more reason to do that. Yes. And uh, in a, in a uh, wider scale, including everybody, not only that. The first time it was just protest against what happened in first of May in Iran, that they they arrested around 100 something workers and that sort of thing. And now uh, it has much more than that. The issue is much bigger and much uh, inclusive. Everybody in Iran knows now what that thing means. It could be a day in, uh, for support of people's of, uh, struggle of people of Iran in, during the last 10 days. Yes. So I think that's a very good situation. Okay. Um, I think I uh, thank you very much, Hamid. Our, our time is coming up to the 